Hi guys, and welcome to my current household update. This is my update. Um, do you guys remember I did a video on my current household? It was kind of getting into the popular section of my videos. Not that it's too popular, but it was okay popular. Um, but yeah, um, I did um, a little quick review on that current household that I did back then, like six months ago, um, on the Quinn family, and you guys know, if you've seen that video, that I love this family, I've been using this family since like one year ago, it's been really fun, I've really been liking playing the other generations, I think in the past video, um, I had like shown you guys three generations or four generations? Okay, yeah, but now we are at five generations and it makes me so happy. I am in love with this family. Um, so yeah, um, what I'm going to show you is like a tour of the house and, well, this house especially is a house that I built myself. It's not quite good, please don't judge. Um, I've been, I worked on this house for about two days, um, I'm not very good at making houses, I wouldn't call myself a pro, I've seen way more beautiful houses than I would be able to make, um, but I think it's pretty decent for houses I've made, I, I like it myself because I'm weird and I, I myself think it's good, so that's just it. I had a little bit of problems with the structure of the house because I tried to go above and beyond of what I could actually do and some of the structure is kind of weird some of it I can't put stuff in so I have to use the move objects thing um but as you see right there I have to put like a little staircase thing so so they could like go into the house because there was like they couldn't climb up eventually I mean they can't really climb up okay um well, as you can see, they still live in, um, forgot what the name of this place is, um, the one, the, like, the one that always comes to sin, like, this normal, the normal one, forgot the name of it, I'm so dumb, but they live back here by the waterfall, and it's, um, really pretty, that's why I picked it, I thought it would be a really nice scenery, especially for this house, back there you can actually see the pool a little bit not a very good pool it's not a very good backyard as I said I am NOT a pro at all this I am NOT perfect at building houses and everything um so yeah um that's just mostly it on that part but let me go ahead and show you uh you guys remember Colin I, I guess okay let's go into the house but um you guys Okay, I talked, I ranted and talked so much about Colin during all of my other video. Like, I talked so much about Colin. You guys know Colin is my little baby. I, I just love Colin. Um, he was a teen, I think. No, he was a young adult. No, okay, I got it. I was right, I was right. He was a teen. At the time when you guys saw him, he was a teen. Look at his little cutie self, and, um, I'm pretty sure that, um, Ryder, his brother, was just a little child. It was so cute. can't believe it's been so long since I've done an update. And, yeah, he was a child. Like, he was baby. Not a baby, but, like, a child child. Um, yeah. And, okay, surprise happened after that. I would not have, I should have done an update before this happened. Or, like, after it happened. Because something major happened during their family. What I thought was weird about their family was that, um, their mom never could have, like, she never had girls. And I wanted her to have a girl. Like, I was like, I really, really want her to have a girl. Like, if this family does not have a girl, I'm going to get really mad. So, 
that happened, and since I got really mad, I kept left leaving them trying for it. And at the end, I've noticed that, um, I might have gotten the lifetime happiness thing for tri triplets. Yeah, that happened. Um, and no, I was freaking out when the second child came out. But there we go. Surprise, surprise, Bubbles. Sorry. Um, surprise, surprise. Um, there was... There was three! There was three, okay. And at the end, we finally got that one girl that they always wanted. But it was really hard for them to live on that. I will go ahead and show you the family tree again. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's go through Kate. Because I already showed you, um, Dean and Aaron and Clara. And I never changed her last name because... Even if it's a boy or a girl that's getting married, I leave the last name because it's the Quinn family, and it always will be the Quinn family to me. So I leave the names. Um, this Oliver and uh, Avery, they're all dead. I feel so sad. I'm, I get so sad when they die. Like, I think, like, I made these people, and they're all dead. How lovely. And, um, this is Kate. And you guys remember her. She was... Oh my god, she's an elder. She's an elder, okay? And Aaron, I mean, not Aaron. I almost, I called him Aaron. How? Oh. Okay, Aiden, um, you guys remember, I showed you them, and they were just young adults with three kids, with like two, they had two kids and a baby. And, um, now they're adults. They're like, all grown up elders. It's so adorable. They've grown so much. Everyone has grown so much. Um, it's been really fun. Like, it's been super fun. Um, and Colin is right here. You guys all know him. My little buddy Boo. I love him. Um, Ryder, second child. You guys saw him as a child. Um, Micah, remember the little baby baby? So, Micah is now a young adult, I believe. I play back and forth with them, because I really want them to end up happy. So, I've played back and forth. That's why some of them have, like, fam not family, but, like, girlfriends and boyfriends on there. Um, so, Micah, yeah, he's adorable. He looks just like his dad, but if you guys remember, he then, then you would notice that he kind of does look just like his dad. Um... And now we go on to the triplets, which were a surprise to me. I was only going to try for one more, as long as it was a girl. I didn't care if it was a boy or a girl. I just wanted that girl, and if it didn't happen, I was okay. But then triplets came. Got so excited. Um, so, this is Kian. I picked that name especially. Actually, I actually pick my names through um, a wheel. So I put, like, top ten names that I like. Boy, girl names, they're like, and then I put them in a color wheel, not a color wheel, it's like a wheel, and it like picks the name for me, and I can't go back, I like, I can't force myself to pick it again, cause then I would get nowhere, I would be sitting here for hours trying to just find the name, and I think that's better for me, um, so yeah, Kian, that's one of the names I kind of like, so I picked it and put it in the color wheel. Um, Serena, which is another name I liked, but then I noticed that I named ex this, okay, <laughs> I'm so confused right now, okay, so I named someone else in the town exactly her name, which was kind of wild to me, I looked at, I looked the name up and I was like, really, did I really just do that second time? And yeah, that's their daughter, the one that I was trying for all the time! And she's beautiful. I love her. She looks just like her mother. I love the pattern of how they all look. So, Colin was like the first one. And since Colin was, Colin was the first one, the second one came out with brown hair, which was more like Aiden. And um, then Micah came out with brown hair, which I thought all of them would come out with brown hair after that because Aiden. Um, and... Then, the triplets all came out with black hair, and I was like, yes, this is so special. I love it. 
I love how they all match with each other. This one specifically reminds me, uh, well, this is Hayden, guys, this is Hayden, um, well, he, they are all, they're all teenagers right now, this one has a girlfriend, um, Hayden especially reminds me, I don't know, it's the way I've made his hair or something, he reminds me of that guy from, like, I don't know, that movie, I forget the movie, um, Okay, I always forget every single movie, but yeah, you guys might kind of say that in the comments below, because he does look like this person. Um, well, Colin went on to having his own daughter. It's so adorable. So Colin now has his own daughter with Sabrina Quinn, which I later added into the game. She was a teenager. They met each other. They met each other when they were like teens, so... They were like adorbs, and I just had to, so. They had their daughters, they had, okay, this is wild. This family is so wild. So, they had their first daughter, Vanessa Quinn, and um, she came out dark skin, black hair, which is exactly what I wanted. I really wanted her to look like Indianish type, and she did come out exactly how I wanted her to look. But then they had... Spencer Quinn. The weird thing about Spencer Quinn was that after she became a toddler, we've I've noticed, not we, but like I've noticed she had blonde hair and I was like, "Oh, where even did she get blonde hair? Like I don't know where she gets blonde hair from. I never even put blonde hair on her. Like she was born with blonde hair. It made me so happy. I was like, this is so unique." You know, because she might have that from her great-great-grandmother. Like, her great-great-grandmother just died, like, a while ago. But she might have that from, like, her grandmother. And it's it's wild, because I didn't think that she would have blonde hair when she has a dad that has black hair and her mom has, like, brown hair. Okay, it's enough rambling about that. Um, so, yeah, there's Colin, my little boo, and, um... Here's Ryder. There's Ryder. Um, he is gorgeous. I love him. He is literally, he looks so big. I love it. Can't believe it. They've grown so much through the years. And, um, there's little Vanessa. She's adorable. And, um, there's Peyton. I almost said Serena, but I'm like, no, that's not Serena. That is Peyton. And, um, here's Primrose. Primrose is, well, you guys, if you saw, um, you guys all basically saw these characters in, like, the pictures for the weddings, for each of their weddings. So, the pictures for each of their weddings, those were Awesome weddings, I loved them. They were like the most beautiful weddings ever. And they're about to turn pretty old in about 10 days for them. But, um, yeah, so it's Primrose. And then, um, Sabrina, she's gorgeous. I love her. She's like the little fashionista, animal lover good sense of humor type of girl. She's artistic. I love her. She's just so good. Um, she's sleepy right now, but, um, so I will give you a tour of the house. Let's get into the tour of the house. So I showed you the outside of the house, yeah. And now, I'll go on to, um, my house. And how I built it and like the structure of it. So let's get on to that. I will try to show you because, um, the problem with the stuff that's going on now is that I don't exactly have a mouse. So I'm working from like a laptop screen thing. And it's really hard to move it around because the, I've never, I've never really have to work with this when I play by myself. Um, or like off camera. Um, 
So I'm gonna try to get into this. Let me see if I can. Please bear with me. That's gonna be hard. But yeah, um, this is their little kitchen. I love those curtains. They are the cutest curtains I've ever seen. Um, I don't, I'm not sure where I got them. I love these big plants. I don't know where they still have a baby monitor, but I'll tell you something really funny. Um, when I was making my thumbnail for this video, um, Spencer was still a baby, like she was a toddler, and she was supposed to age up that time, like during the day, and I didn't notice it was already 8 o'clock, so she started, while all the other sims were in the thumbnail, like posed already, like none of them were moving. I had to take her out of the pose because it said she was having her birthday. And I didn't want the aging process to mess up or anything. So I stopped her pose and I let her like grow up while I was making a thumbnail. So I have like two thumbnails. One with her a baby and one with her a child. And I'm going to do the one with her a child because that's basically what I'm showing you. So yeah, our kitchen's pretty cute. Um really like all the settings of it. I like the wood. I It seems like a really roomy place. Like a really roomy nice place. Um. Yeah, like over here. Dining room. So this is the dining room. I love its little windows. I love, I love everything about it. Um, I'm going to put the walls up. I barely use the walls up because I'm weird and I don't like the walls getting in the way of when I'm playing, but, yeah. So this is our dining room. It's pretty cute. It has a little, nice little red tone to it. It's just classy and pretty. I love it. Um, I can't believe I created this. I don't think I was capable of all that, but, yep, I made that. Sorry, I'm, like, moving around everywhere. Um... So their living room, okay, walls down again because I'm weird. Well, that moved. <laughs> okay, so their living room is kind of, this is a style of living room that I have been especially making in most of the houses I've noticed um, that I've been doing this. But, um, it's just like, I don't know. I'm not sure. Like, it has a little room in the corner. Like, I've made houses like that before. Like, I always do that. I don't know why. I ha I know I have a beach house in, um, the Island Paradise one I play off camera that has a little, like, thing like this, too. Like, a little area where they put music and books and little couches. Well, yeah. I don't know why I always do that. I think it's pretty cute for some reason. But yeah, that area is super cute. I love it. It's adorable. Um, I love this little old style little record player and the flowers. I love it. Everything about it. I'm not sure if I love so much the green because I've had that for way too much time. Um, these couches I got from the Sims Resource, I think. Um, and those curtains I got from an expansion pack thing. I don't know if that's really... Okay. Well, that's the living room-ish area. And then there's a little bookshelf and one of those little couches again. And those really fancy that curtains that I really love. Um, and they have a little computer area right there. And for some reason... All of the pictures that they take in photo booth or like, um, greeting card pictures do not show up in my house when I put them. If you know how to fix that, please comment down below. I would really love some help with that. I actually just got done, um, with this other glitch I had where, um, every time they had a girl baby, and that's my problem because they all had girl babies. So, um, so when they all had, like, girl babies... The babies would, like, make the whole screen, like, go all out and, like, it would flicker in white. 
So I currently fixed that, and I was so excited. I was so happy that I finally got that off my back after a year. Um, and it was actually a hair that I had downloaded from the Sims resource, and it made my game glitch out so much. So I haven't really been, like, getting custom content from there because of all the stuff that it's brought me to. And, um, yeah. So, this is just a stair area, and like the entrance area. They have a little fish tank. I don't know if that's filled with the fishes. No, it's not. Because they're too poor for fishes. I currently got Ryder into the lifeguard career. He hasn't really started yet. He was starting yesterday, but I don't know how to really work that out. How to, like, make the lifeguard career work out. So, can someone help me with that, too? I would love some help with that. And Colin, I think he's going to get into the chef. He's mastering a lot in, like, he has skills of chef. He has that at a level 5. So I'm probably going to get him into a chef and stuff. He's going to be a chef, and he just got some cooking classes a while ago. So he's probably going to go get some again, and then probably study to be a chef. That will be great. Um, yeah, this is just a random stair area. It's cute. Um, this is my favorite part of this house. They have their own built-in movie theater. So, okay, so this movie theater, it's not really a movie theater, but this screen right here is the best screen ever. I made an actual movie theater in my town with this screen in it and, like, different screens. And this is the larger-than-life screen from The Sims 3 store. And I got it for a low price. I think it was like a hundred simoleons. I'm not sure. Sim points, simoleons. I'm not sure. A hundred. I said simoleons, sim points. Okay. Um. Well, yeah, that's like my favorite part of this house. Because it has a little movie theater. And they always go in there and have a little movie session. And it's so fun. I love it. Um. So let's go to the upstairs, which is the best part of this house. Honestly, this is the prettiest house ever I've made. Um, some people agree, some people don't. It's fine. I know it's not perfect, but I love it anyways. Um, so, they have the little staircase entrance, and they have an outside deck, which I really love, because I ended up putting a mistletoe right there when... When I actually, when it was Christmas, I put a mistletoe up there. So I thought it would be really cute. Yeah. And there's this extra room right here that I barely even use. I don't know why. I think I said it up there because I thought Ryder was going to have another kid. But then they tried and nothing happened. No little ding ding sound or anything. So, so I guess they're not going to have another kid. And with the wages on this house, I don't think they'll be having another kid. But, oh, this is crazy, I can't even move it. Um, let me kind of go into it. So this is Ryder and Primrose's room. It's kind of pinkish. I love it. I love the rug. I love how it, like, all matches together, all pretty and nice. I think this is the cutest room I've ever made. Also, I made a lot of rooms, but this is the cutest. So, um, beyond the, or like this whole part right here, is, um, the bathroom. This is going crazy, I know. Um, this is the bathroom. They have a little tiny bathroom. It's not a master, it's fine though. They have a little, okay, so these blocks that you're seeing in front of this shower, they're like glass all around it because I wanted to have like a little glass bathroom. It didn't work for me though, but I, I still kept it. And this right here, right by Spencer's room, is a laundry room and I really like it. I think it looks pretty. Um, it's not traditional, it's not anything, it's just a laundry room. Basic, normal laundry room. Um, and right here, where little Spencer is, is her room. I love the walls. I love everything about the walls. I love everything in this room, especially the space cat. It's my favorite part. 
And, um, I literally just made this and she just grew up. Like, she literally just grew up, like, five seconds ago or, like, an hour in sim times. But, yeah, she has a little desk and she has her little shelf thingy area. And she has her bed. It's adorable. Um, yeah, and there's Colin and Sabrina's room, which is more traditional, kind of the brownish tones, which I usually use a lot. They just have a little nook area, because you guys know how I love the nook areas, and, um, oh, yeah, it fell off, and, um, the master bed. Not bedroom, bathroom. Master bathroom. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, but my favorite, favorite, favorite part of this house will have to be the two girls' rooms. Um, Vanessa and Peyton's room has a little bunk bed. It has, um, some type of a lifeguard feeling, like a beach feeling to it has like mermaid posters and shark posters and stuff I am in love with this room it's the it's like a dream come true for a kids room um yeah it just has typical kids stuff uh... tv toys everywhere and they also have a little deck area to this too so I thought it was that was pretty cute um so yeah that's mostly all to my house except for the backyard so this is the backyard and it is um has a little pool, has little relaxing chairs, and I thought this would be really cute to put like a glass area in the middle of the pool area so they can like chill while everyone's swimming around them. I thought that would be really cool, but might not be as cool as I think. So yeah, I think that's going to be the end of this current household. Um, so I would like you guys to please like this video, watch my other videos. There will be another video coming very soon, I think in about three days or two days, depending on what happens. Um, but yeah, there will be another video coming soon. It will be... Episode 5 to my Supernatural Let's Play. I am thinking of doing Generations Let's Play because I am really good at Generations Let's Plays and I love Generations. It's my favorite thing in the expansion packs. And yeah, that's mostly it. That's going to be um what's coming up. I will also leave a link to where you guys can download Kate Quinn, so maybe you could start your own little part of me in the Quinn family. Oh, Bubbles. <laughs> start your own part of me in the Quinn family, and please send me, send, <laughs> send me pictures and things on my Instagram, where it is, oh wait, no, I don't, not on my Instagram, I think. Yeah, my Instagram. I will have a link down below to my Instagram where you guys can follow, and you guys will be allowed to send me pictures with the hashtag Fashion Simmer and comment down below what you would like me to do next. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I've re I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, and bye.